Teach Your Monster to Read is a website for students who are getting ready to learn in sounds. As a teacher, you would come to this button and click to start your reading adventure now and register as a teacher for the class. As a student, your teacher will be able to give the student a username and a password. So I'm going to go log in as a teacher. And you can see that two teachers have signed on for a first steps game, which is just the letter sound. And you could have multiple accounts. Under account settings, you can let the system auto generate passwords have editable passwords or no passwords at all. And since I've turned on editable passwords, I'm going to have a specific Teacher Monster to Read website to log into. So I'm going to add a player and we're going to write Jose T and we can get a comparison of the games and it will show you what those letter sounds are, what the fun with words would be, and the types of things that they would get involved in with the champion reader. So I'm going to set up an account for Jose as first steps. I'm going to create the player and it assigned Jose a password. I can get the children password cards and I can reset the password. Here's where I want to change that password for Jose. So now that's going to be Jose's password. I can give him a password card and that can be printed out and given to the child so that he could play it at home or play it at school. Now we're going to sign on as Jose. This is what the student would see. Hello, let's make a monster. Click on the round button to make your own monster. And so like with most websites, one of the things students always enjoy doing is making decisions about how their monster is going to look and check it off to continue. Happy with your monster? Click a well done. This is your monster. Look, he's waving at you. He's ready to go on an adventure. Let's go. Once upon a time, your monster was zooming around the galaxy in his spaceship. He wanted to explore new worlds and he was imagining all the wonderful things you might find there. Then, one day, terrible storm came. Your monster's spaceship span out of control and crashed on a mysterious island. What a big crash! If you find my letters, I will help you fix your spaceship. I will also give you a prize if you find my letter. Which prize would you like? Let's learn a new sound, as in some, and try to find the letters that make the sound. And the nice thing about this game is that you don't need any clicking skills. If you just slide along and bump into the sheep, it collects them. And if you make a mistake, they just run out. Done. You found enough letters for the island king. Let's see if you've collected enough for a prize. Thank you, said the king. You found my letters. You can have your prize now. Looking at it as a teacher, I can sign on and look at the stats and find out how the student did. So John played seven times in total and is 73% confident with the S and 100% confident with the A and T. So 
so you can see where the students are with their work. I could change the game and make it harder if it's too easy. And the child can even have a po poster that they can name and what the monster likes and what the monster doesn't like so you can tie a little bit more into what it is you're doing with the, the program.